don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Once again, it's performances of Ghanaian players abroad. I'll start off on a boxing note. Richard Comey lost his IBF lightweight title after being humiliated and battered by his opponent in Madison Square Garden. He took on Lopez in what was supposed to be a defense of his title. It wasn't to be for Comey. I'm going to also talk to you about Andrea Ayu. He continued his fine goal scoring form this season for Swansea City. He grabbed a brace over the weekend in their 3-1 win. And an assist for Ghanaian player who plays for Yeli Malati Sport every year. Aqua. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, the English Premier League Liverpool fell out stretch their lead at the top of the table to 10 points after Leicester City were held to a 1 1 draw with Norwich. Bottom side Watford, unfortunately, due to some poor finishing in the final third, were unable to capitalize and get a goal against Liverpool. The Reds, in the end, won 2 0 in the early kickoff on saturday they are now off to qatar for the club world cup a team from liverpool will be left behind to take part in the carabao cup that they'll be playing in on wednesday against aston villa as well so a very very tight schedule there for liverpool as they prepare for the carabao cup and the club world cup final which if they make it there will be over the weekend this wednesday they have a game juventus return to the top of the table after they beat with an easy 3-1 cristiano ronaldo with a brace there inter milan were held 1-1 by fiorentina and in spain real madrid and barcelona failed to stretch their lead any further they both end draws real madrid with a last gap school from karim benzema against valencia and fc barcelona they were held to a 2-2 draw by real sociedad on saturday so that makes the el Clasico, which will be taking place on wednesday even more interesting and we are all looking forward to that big game here at the camp Nou when barcelona face off Real Madrid. So I just jump right into it and I'll start off from the boxing angle. Richard Comey lost his IBF lightweight title in crashing and humiliating fashion after suffering a comprehensive second round beating at the hands of Teofimo Lopez at the Madison Square Garden in New York. Now the Ghanaian was flawed a minute into the second round before stumbling and regaining his composure but was then subjected to a flurry of punches that forced the referee to stop the fight and call time on his short reign as world champion now Komi had spoken about how he just could not feel and how much he was going to give everything to retain the title and in the opening round he did back that up with some decent punches but it didn't take long for lopez undefeated in 14 games with 11 knockouts to find target as both fighters squared off in the middle of the ring the american caught Komi with a solid right punch sent him to his knees and stumbling he managed to be the count but lopez had sensed blood and landed 31 out of 35 punches to finish off the Ghanaian. Komi's beating would lead to questions about the ability of Ghana's recent boxing champions to hold on to their titles for long after Isaac Dobe short reign as world champion too. Lopez has now earned a shot at a unification bout against Vasil Lomachenko but Komi who has now lost three times in 30 fights would have to pick himself up and look for another shot at the world title that was a post there by michael tj on tv3 three news.com and richard comey unfortunately could not defend his title well and he was beaten in the end comprehensively by lopez it was quite unfortunate but it is what it is i moved to the football arena 
we all know how we do it and formats of Ghanaian players abroad. I'll start off from England as usual and Benley took on Newcastle in the 3 p.m. kickoff. Christian Achu played 80 minutes for Newcastle. His side lost 1-0 to Burnley. Leicester City, who are the chasing team against Liverpool, they are still chasing Liverpool and Leicester City were held to a 1-1 draw that stretched the lead Liverpool had at the top of the table to 10 points. Amate, Daniel, still not in the squad, will most likely leave in January to save his career. Southampton took on West Ham and Kevin Dancer was not in the squad for the Saints. They lost 1-0 to West Ham. Nottingham Forest played Sheffield Wednesday and Albert Adoma was an unused substitute as Sheffield Wednesday thrashed Nottingham Forest 4-0. Stoke City, they took on Reading. Andy Adam was not in the squad for this game. His side drew 0-0, drawing blanks on this occasion. And Swansea took on Middlesbrough and two goals by Andre Ayu scored in the 22nd and 71st minute meant that his side won 3 1 against Middlesbrough. AFC Wimbledon took on Doncaster, and Quisia Pia was not in the squad for AFC Wimbledon. They won 2 1 against Doncaster. I move to Spain next, and Atletico Madrid took on Osasuna. Thomas Partey took part in this game, full 90 minutes of action for him. His Atletico Madrid side are still not in the Champions League places and hopefully they get back in there but it was a stellar performance it was a great performance there by Pate he had a shot on target goalkeeper faced it out and that was how it ended two goals for Atletico Madrid Morata and Sao Negues on target Hetafe took on Real Valladolid and Mohamed Salisu played 90 minutes of this encounter Hetafe leads Real Valladolid 2-0 Salisu on the end of that loss. Celta Vigo took on Real Mallorca and Joseph Edu played 90 minutes. Lumo Agbenyenu played 90 minutes as well as Chris Baba both played 90 minutes as well. Baba Raman is still not back from injury. Deportivo Alaves they took on Leganes and Mubra Krakasu had been suspended for this game following his red card in the previous game. Alaves drew 1-1 with Leganes. To Italy, I move to next and Hellas Verona took on Torino. Claude Echapon was an unused substitute for Hellas Verona. Achiman Bedu is still out with injury. This game ended in a 3-3 draw. Torino and Hellas Verona sharing the spoils on this occasion. Juventus took on Odenize and Nicolas Opoku was an unused substitute for Odenize. They lost 3-1 to Juventus. Cristiano Ronaldo with two goals on this occasion. AC Milan took on Sassuolo and Alfred Duncan was an unused substitute as his side fired blanks ending 0-0 both teams sharing the spoils on this occasion. Fiorentina took on Inter Milan in the late kickoff. Kevin Prince Boateng was in the squad. He played the full 90 minutes. Kojua Samoa still out with an injury. Fiorentina held Inter Milan to a 1-1 draw that meant Juventus will be on top of the table regaining that of support after losing it last week. Mets in France took on Olympic Marseille. John Boy played 90 minutes of this encounter. His side were held to a 1-1 draw. Germany and Paderborn SC took on Union Berlin. Christopher Entrije played 90 minutes as his side played out a 1-1 draw with Union Berlin. Fortuna Düsseldorf took on RB Leipzig and Nana Ampuma played 90 minutes for Fortuna Düsseldorf. This game ended in a 3-0 loss to Fortuna Düsseldorf. Kasim Adams was an unused substitute on this occasion and Bernard Tegbete came on in the 70th minute to take a part in this encounter. They lost 3-0. Turkey and Gaziantep FK took on Kayseri Spore. Gaziantep thrashed Kayseri Spore 3-0. Bernard Mesa played 22 minutes before he was substituted. Besiktas took on Yeli Malate Spore and Afriya Aqua came on in the 81st minute and provided an assist for the opening goal for Yeni Malate Spore. They won 2-0 against Besiktas. To Belgium, I moved to Ness and RC Sports in Charleroi. They took on second push and Donsa played 69 minutes 
of this loss. His side lost 3 0 to Sporting Chevrolet. Gang took on Westland Defend and then Joseph Painzel played 68 minutes. Thomas Ijapon came on in the 64th minute of this encounter. Gang thrashed Vaslan Beveren 4-1. Bulgaria next and CSK Sofia took on Dona Vruz. Samuel Lincoln was not in the squad for Dona Vruz on this occasion. They were thrashed 3-0. Northeast United's game was postponed in India. Red Star Belgrade, they took on Kokariki. Richmond Bwachi Adam played 80 minutes and he could not contribute but he was part of the winning side his side winning their 3-1 and in austria lask with some water they took on storm grass it ended 3-3 on this occasion so some water played 90 minutes of this encounter so that has been it for today talking about the performances of Ghanaian players abroad captain of the black stars and BIU continues his fine form he grabbed a brace over the weekend and assist for a free aqua and unfortunately Richard Coming failed to defend his IBF lightweight world title let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box the Champions League draw will be held today and we'll know who will be taking part in the round of 16 which teams will be facing which teams in the round of 16 let me know what your predictions in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day